there's something that is Feel there's something that is Feel there's something that is stopping me now oh. And I try to forget all what I had But is my mind really gonna cut you out? I feel like no prayers are gonna have myself No I should call you back You know it's getting dark inside my head I feel there's something that is stopping me now oh. There's something that is Feel there's something that is Feel there's something that is Stopping me now Oh Well, good morning, good afternoon to you, wherever you may be. Uh, my name is Tri Win. I am one of the product managers and sales managers here at Zycel. I don't have my camera on today because I am uh, working from a slightly remote area where uh, I just want to save the connectivity, make sure that the connectivity itself is working and clearly for you. Now, if I do have some sort of connectivity issues or anything like that, uh, please, please feel free to send me a, a message in the chat. Uh, hopefully it's maybe not my mic problem or something like that. But again, welcome to uh, this week's uh, Tech Talk. We like to do this to get uh, you know interaction between you and I uh, with Zycel and our partners and, and talking about specific topics. And um, uh, again, I want it to be interactive. So please use the Q&A section and uh, let me know if you have any questions during the whole entire presentation. And uh, we will uh, answer those as best as possible, probably in line. If not, I will answer them at the end of the presentation. So we got about probably uh, 40 minutes worth of content today, uh, depending on your discussions and your questions as well. But I wanted to discuss a very important topic. I don't know if, uh, by a raise of hands, how many of you have already heard of our new USG Flex uh, UTM firewall product line? Um, this is our new product that we just released and announced just, uh, just a few weeks ago. Thank you, Matt. Um, and, uh, you know, it's about, uh, you know, a new hardware refresh, basically, of our USG series um, in continuation with kind of some upgraded functionalities. And we'll talk about that, too. But you may already have customers right now, uh, you know, installed uh, with USG uh, product today. Um, we have our next generation firewalls, or, or that's what they were called, um, you know, in a um, in the marketing sense. 
the, the USG 40, 60s, 110, 210, 310. And those have been very successful in the market uh, for us over the last few years. And so this is kind of a, a refresh to that. Uh, we will still be carrying the USG series for, um, you know, where the, the specific, uh, you know, needs are for those kinds of uh, products and the lower kind of lower segment. Um, but we do have now this next generation or next iteration, uh, which you'll see from a naming convention will be pretty natural kind of migration. Um, basically, you know, the, our USG uh, Flex 100 is also named in our documentation, in our price list, and in uh, distribution and such as the USG 40 version 2 or the V2. So that will help for you on a migration level as we move to this kind of new naming convention of, of calling it USG Flex. The other kind of thing that I'll, I'll discuss is how it also kind of relates from a naming convention and positioning alongside with our ATP series. If you're familiar with our ATP series, it's also, um, you know, ATP 100, 200, 500. So the USG Flex also is a 100, 200, 500 naming convention as well. And so it will help with the positioning on how and how you migrate. But one major topic I want to talk about and cover today is the licensing portion, because that, that will definitely be a big question by your partners and for, uh, you know, you yourself, how to manage those kinds of licenses. So let's go ahead and, and continue. Um, again, if you are joining this webinar, you will be automatically entered into the drawing for a $25 Amazon gift card just for, for being here and listening in. So good luck on that. Um, a little bit about Zycel, if you haven't heard about us before, we are, uh, have 100 million devices that are connected. We've been around since 1989. We just celebrated our 30th year uh, uh, as a company. Uh, we are now called Zycel Networks. Uh, before, we were called Zycel Communications. That portion of the business is now still Zycel Communications. We are primarily the channel channel business side uh, you know, worldwide, but we have 600 in this uh, division, 600 employees, uh, 700,000 devices or uh, businesses have used our uh, uh, products in 150 different markets. We pride ourselves because we are um, uh, internationally recognized for our innovation design. So we pride in, in that we have our own engineering uh, services or engineering resources that create not only the hardware, but also the software as well, and, and to help to design uh, quality products. And you get to work with us in doing that. We've been um, uh, certified with ICSA Labs now for 20 years straight. We are one of five vendors that have even that kind of recognition, uh, meaning that all of our security appliances are interoperable from the firewall to the VPN and to our UTM implementations. Uh, we are solution driven and it's, you know, really driven by what you as partners and our clients needs. So again, because of our own R&D resources, our own um, capabilities there, we uh, listen to you as partners. We listen to what you have to say, not only from a future standpoint, but also maybe future products. So we work with some partners even to develop, you know, brand new part, uh, brand new uh, definitions of new products that are coming out, you know, in the coming years. So feel free to reach out to us if you do have, you know, um, anything that can help you do business better or do it easier. Uh, or if you're seeing, you know, words from uh, your client needs or your end user needs, that can be communicated to us that we could help to bring those kinds of products to, to light. Our entire portfolio, we have an end-to-end -end solution which uh, provides connectivity. So pretty much any uh, products that are connected to a network, that's what I usually tell my partners, is uh, when you think of anything connected, whether it be wireless, whether it be fiber, uh, ethernet, 10 gig, whatever it may be, Zysel has some sort of networking equipment a networking uh, device that will satisfy those solutions uh, really to end to end. So even down to the central office equipment all the way to the end user uh, within the home or within the business as well. And be able to manage it not only uh, as a standalone type device or using sophisticated um, you know, remote access or using uh, cloud management systems through our Nebula or some other uh, uh, cloud-based solutions. So I wanted to cover the USG Flex, just a quick highlight of the product itself because we are gonna be talking about why we want to migrate or how do we migrate things like UTM licenses and stuff from your USG platform to this new USG Flex as you are going through this um, you know, upgrade cycle. Um, so it's all about performance. Um, I know today, today's day and age, um, customers are upgrading their, their speeds um, on their internet 
or they because they are working remotely they are now upgrading their connectivities to have you know higher upload speeds as well as their download speeds are still in the high space so with the usg flex series it's built on some high performance hardware um, that can achieve up to five times better throughput uh, of utm than the current usg system um, it also has enhanced utm functionalities than your traditional kind of UTM. Um, and it has some different kinds of uh, counter-terrorism internet referral unit re um, filtering as well, botnet filtering, it has flexible management, uh, not only be able to do direct management, but also through uh, a command line interface as well. There will be future um, uh, integration to allow for also to be part of the Nebula cloud as well. Uh, wireless controller is built into it. So using Zycel business class access points, you're able to manage and provision those access points so you can deploy Wi-Fi uh, very quickly and be able to use the latest technologies. I know that some of our partners have always asked us why, why don't you just integrate the APs into uh, you know, the device itself and make a wireless version? Well, we do have it for the lower end, the USG, sorry, USG Flex 100W will have that um, capabilities coming soon. And, um, but the thing about it is Wi-Fi is, it has very many different variables, right? You have your high end Wi-Fi 6 now, you have people who don't necessarily want or need to pay the extra for Wi-Fi 6, they just want, you know, 11 AC. So, and then which 11 AC, you have 2600s, you have 4800s, you have, you know, 1600, 1200 AC. So there's a lot of variables that come into play and depending on the need. So we leave that to the wireless kind of side of the product line. And our integration is that you can pick and choose which wireless you really want to use for your deployment. And, um, you know, apply that into the system and it would uh, be universally controlled by, uh, you know, USG Flex. So what, what's different in the USG Flex is that it brings a new feature uh, called uh, Express Mode. Express Mode is a cloud query uh, solution that really significantly um, increases performance. It's different from your typical, uh, you know, signature base that streams or uh, scans locally, like on the device. But it, in fact, it actually uses like hash file hash information and queries against the cloud. So it's, it's much quicker and it's, it's very accurate and it has a lot more signatures that it can check against versus you know, the, the limited amount of memory or the memory size of the device hardware itself. Now the USG series will support also the cloud query. USG Flex has that, but even natively the USG Flex has heart better hardware. So it will always outperform the USG series in that. But you can always choose between that stream mode, your traditional way of doing um, UT with signatures, or you can switch it to the express mode if you need that extra boost of performance. ATP series is um, still our flagship product line that actually can do both cloud and stream uh, at the same time. So it can do both modes um, simultaneously um, to, to, to give you kind of the best of both worlds. All right, so that's some of the, the advantages of that, some detailed overview. I won't, I won't cover too much of it. If you are interested in more in-depth a view of what the, the USG Flex is about. We do have a webinar that we've done uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago that you can check in the recordings for um, that will we'll go through a little bit more details of, of the USG Flex series itself. Um, but pretty much, you know, it's, it's about cost. Um, if you want higher performance, uh, high performance and have both the advantages of USG, uh, the, the stream mode and the high, the, and the scan express mode, then, uh, you know, that you have to buy the higher performing hardware. So the ATP series. So that's kind of just the only disadvantage, but it does give you the best level of protection because it's protecting you via both signature and that. Um, and of course the performance is where we were, we're, we're really kind of, uh, where you'll see kind of the main differences. Um, the increase in firewall performance just natively. Um, and this increase in performance, the 480% increase, is uh, purely the UTM performance. This does not include the, um, the express mode performance. So if you compared a uh, USG express versus the, uh, the ATP USG flex and the, the normal USG, um, you'll see that it'll, it'll also be a, um, you know, kind of a relative performance boost as well. But in general, this is the increase that you have. So if you have customers who are upgrading, right, again, UTM performance from a USG 60 goes from 90 megabits all the way up to the equivalent USG Flex um, 200, which is also named USG 60 version 2, uh, goes up to 450 megabits per second. So you can see just a dramatic increase in performance of just straight up UTM. 
So that's where the advantage will be. Um, again, if your customers are upgrading to a higher internet connectivity, we have the performance that can match that without kind of the breaking the bank kind of situation. Um, we partner with some of the leading specialists, McAfee, Webroot, Lastline, Trend Micro, Bitdefender, for all of the different um, UTM solutions that are involved. All right, so in our portfolio, like I mentioned earlier, we have a USG Flex 100, 200, and 500. And these are scaled or at least um, positioned um, very similar to the ATP 100, 200, and the ATP 500. And we'll be also be uh, adding some additional models on the higher end as well to match up to the ATP series. But this is what we have currently launched and available now. So you can find this in distribution, or if you don't know where to find it, um, let us know through your uh, sales rep. Uh, or through your distribution rep and we can get that to you. Um, so the USG Flex is all about flexibility in the services um, as well as kind of the management of the product. Um, so let's kind of look at an example of what happens, right? If you have a customer that's currently using the, the, uh, the USG series itself and wants to go to the USG Flex, there are some things that we have to worry about or think about during the migration process. So we've added pretty much simplicity on how to migrate it. So through myzicel.com, where you manage the existing ones, you can actually um, uh, choose the device of the new USG Flex and be able to go through kind of a process that, that migrates those existing um, security services to it, uh, to the new platform, right? So I think that's our, when, before when we had a, um, before the, USG, the next gen USG series came out, uh, with like a USG 40, we had people who, who had the previous devices and we would run into situations where they had just bought or just renewed, you know, a particular license. And, but at the same time, they actually needed the newer hardware platform. So they were maybe two or three months into their new uh, licensing key, but then they had to purchase, you know, in order to get, we, you know, it was, it was very difficult to, to migrate them from a licensing standpoint to the new platform. And so uh, they had to literally buy a new years of service, right? And we, we, we tried our best to also add some additional perks and stuff like that into it, but it wasn't a very simple process in that regard. It was uh, somewhat manual. So let's say these are the licenses that are available in your current USGs, right? Your uh, content filtering, which is our best seller, our, our IDP um, and App Patrol is our kind of our second. Um, Anti-malware, which is our antivirus intrusion detection. Uh, there was email security that, that was available and also Secu Reporter uh, from a management report standpoint. So let's say this customer had bought all of these because with the USG platform before, you could buy any of these services a la carte. So maybe at some point the customer wanted, um, you know, had originally content filtering or just recently renewed content filtering. They're at seven months left of that service. And let's say malware had only two months left, right? Because it's just the way that the, the process had gone and that's where they bought them or that's where they activated. Now, of course, if they had bought the full bundled service, right? The one year, then every one of these services would have expired at the same time. But for this example, we were just kind of saying, hey, if they had happened to buy it at different points, how do you deal with that situation? So, what we've done is that we will extend the services for free when you migrate your USG to the USG Flex. So basically it will extend all the individual active security services to the longest remaining period left free of charge. So because there was seven months left of that content filtering service, we're gonna normalize every other service there to also be seven months left. So that's kind of uh, the example that we wanted to, to showcase so that you know that you can then transfer to the new USG Flex and kind of gain benefit from it as well, right? Um, now, of course, if they had seven months in the full bundle, right, they had bundled service and all these were already at seven months left, then of course that seven months can also transfer. So that's kind of the, the, the good thing that we are kind of you know, bringing forth here to make the transition easier to swallow, especially you may have a customer, well, in the past, a customer would say, well, I still have three months left on my service. I will wait three months before I do the upgrade, right? So that either happens from the end user standpoint or from the VAR because the VAR is maybe doing a managed service. He doesn't want to, uh, uh, you know, lose out on those three months that he could be billing the customer as well. So there's usually that lag period that people are having to think through. And we don't want that, right? Obviously, you guys want the revenue uh, you know, as soon as possible as well. And same, same thing here. So this allows for you to still upsell 
migrate the customer to the new platform so they get the benefits of all the new features, but also uh, still maintain their services. Now you may ask, well, what happens if they buy um, a bundled set? Because we do offer with the USG Flex a hardware only version and also a a version that comes included with 12 months of unified threat management built into it. So you have uh, the, the bundle, you'll see it on the price list as like a USG Flex 100 BUN, and that just stands for bundled. And then the regular one without any BUN, that's it's considered hardware only. So just make sure you, you see that. If you compare the two prices, you'll see the price difference as well. So the higher price one obviously has the year subscription uh, included. But let's say in our example, they, we want them to go, if they went to the bundled version, it will automatically tack on the seven months that was from the previous USG that they were um, transitioning from to this new, uh, to the new device. And so they will end up with 19 months of, of UTM services on the new hardware, right? So it will do that transfer for you uh, on the back end and be able to migrate all those systems over. So really that's just the helpful part of it. Um, you know, again, what Zysel is doing to try to help appease or help ease the process um, when there are concerns from the end users that, you know, they have licenses that are still, still valid and still perfectly usable. So we migrate those over. And so some of the migration paths here, the equivalency you can see is our USG 40 and 40 W's will map over to our USG Flex 100 and 100 W. Um, now, I don't have it marked here, but the USG Flex 100 and 100 W is also going to be named in parentheses. And actually, the belly label, the packaging itself, um, the the carton package will also say USG Flex 100 in parentheses USG 40 version two, right or V2. So you'll see both naming conventions. It's certified as even both uh, names as well. Again, it is to help. Uh, maybe one day we could just drop the V2 portion of it. But you know, as as everyone kind of migrates and moves over to this new naming uh, convention, uh, we have it there just to, for the ease of use and for your pretty much your for your customers as well. I think one big challenge that that partners face and we face during any kind of migration is uh, uh, the customer will say, "Well, this is a new product. I don't know about it." Even if it could have been, uh, you know, the identical product, just because we renamed it. They want to be able to test it. Maybe they're unsure of the quality. Uh, you know, there's a there's that that kind of period, right? And so, by naming it the the, the V2, uh, we automatically kind of help them and help you to convince the customer. Well, it is uh, the same product with better performance, better hardware uh, from the um, you know the the firmware and the feature sets and things like that. It's what they are used to. Let's see, Seth asks, could you show the model image again <clears throat> for the Flex V2? Let me see if I still have that, hold on. <clears throat> again, it's like, this is what I mean by being interactive. So there we go, this is the, the USG Flex V2. So it has the two USB ports. So it's similar to what the um, you know, USG 60W would be. Any questions, any specific questions on this one, Seth? All right, so that's what it would look like, um, you know, just from there, from the throughput standpoint. Okay, let's skip back ahead here. Um, okay, so the mapping is there. The USG 60, 60Ws will go to USG Flex 200. The 110 will be Flex to the 500. The USG 210 will be Flex to the 500 as well. So basically the 110 and 210 are getting combined together um, because we really, the 210 was kind of a, kind of a specialty skew uh, mostly bought by certain uh, providers or certain customers, um, but we've been migrating them to the USG 110 because of the performance is still okay. Are you offering any type of hardware trade-ins from the USG? And Jim asked that. Yes, uh, Jim, uh, we always have trade-in uh, capabilities or trade-in. So talk to our sales, uh, our, our sales folk. We will trade in um, not only competitive trade-ins, but we're also doing trade-ins from our USG set. So if you want to upgrade from a USG to the, the next one, typically the, uh, the rebates on them is about 20, uh, I think I would say 20 to 25% discount uh, that you'll see for that, that trade-in from that migration. So um, Seth asked, does migration from a Zywell 110 go to a USG Flex 500 or a 200? So the 110 is equivalent to the USG 110. So 
Zywall 110 would flex to the, uh, the 500, Seth. Um, now, again, it depends on what you're doing, right? Because you, you might have to reset. Uh, the flex 200 from a, from a VPN standpoint, because you're not doing UTM, if you only worry about the, the, the VPN portion, then you could flex, you could go and get away with a USG uh, flex 200, uh, you know, if you're just doing uh, VPN type or SPI firewall without the UTM. So you kind of almost have to reset where, where maybe your positioning is on the Zywall. Uh, but strictly speaking on UTM, which is, you know, migrating people's UTM services themselves, uh, these are the kind of the straight across mapping. So USG Flex 500 is also called a USG 110 version two. So, so you'll see, you know, that, and again, in the naming convention, but if you're just doing Zywall 110 without any uh, like AD, uh, IDP uh, intrusion detection stuff or anti-malware, then you kind of have to look at the scale and you may be able to get away with using just a USG Flex 200. All right. Uh, and then we'll be coming out with something that replaces the USG 310 as well. But right now it's only up to uh, the USG Flex 500. So that's pretty much kind of the migration part of it. Again, you'll be doing the migration uh, through the MyZyCell and also through the wizard, I believe, on the device. Um, we'll, from the partner standpoint, we'll, we'll get you some information on how uh, to exactly do you know, the step-by-steps the -step on the migration process. Um, and so, but to just know that that's what's built into the system. Uh, pretty much you, you find the uh, USG that you wish to migrate from um, and you assign it to the new the new USG Flex and all of the backend system will get migrated. Okay, so from a UTM standpoint, why UTM is important? Well, I think UTM as a platform is, is a gold mine, right? It's all about recurring revenue. Um, and our USG series, if you're able to upgrade them and move them to the new USG Flex platform, not only do you have uh, you know better performance and better services available to you for the customer, but now you've kind of uh, migrated them to a more longevity, right, of, of your renewal, renewed services that you can continue to uh, either get monthly recurring revenue if you're a managed service provider or a, um, you know, a one-time yearly subscription that you can earn from that particular customer that you can basically, you know, mine from. And of course, UTM is important, right? It is all about protecting the network, making sure that um, all of the public and private internet is protected against ransomware, crypto jacking, all those things. And especially if you're working in specific industries like retail, healthcare, government, finance, this, those kinds of performance, I mean, those kinds of uh, UTM capabilities is, uh, is absolutely critical. And that's, it's all part of the certification or part of um, the, uh, uh, you just being able to to do business in those kinds of of networks. Of course, convincing the customer about about using UTM, it's just a matter of time before they get infected or get um, uh, hit with some sort of UTM performance. Excuse me. So most attacks can be targeted against businesses that don't even think that they can be a targeted, or they may think that they're just too small. Um, and usually, you know, time is money. Um, and, and if systems go down, especially this day and age, you don't want a network to go down, especially when people are depending upon uh, connecting back to the office, to getting data or even remote desktoping to you know, critical systems that they're doing while they're working remotely. So it's, it's definitely a, uh, a very important thing to, you know, talk to your partners about, talk to your customers about, and letting them know that, you know, these are the kind of the things that we want to, to block and prevent against. Now, of course, the number one question that partners or, or sorry, the end customers may say is, how do I even know that, you know, what I'm paying is, is worthwhile, or if it's, um, you know, if I'm actually being protected, right? And so we do have tools that will allow for you to do that. And I'll talk about that in a Secu report in a second. Now, of course, there's always multi-layer threats, meaning that there are different ways, both inside uh, and, and outside threats. So outside threats could be like emails, phishing, um, could be intrusion connections, behaviors that, you know, um, 
uh, uh, scanning of ports and things like that. And so you need protection from the outside, but you also have, need to have protection from the inside, uh, both content filtering, people using the web in ways that may not be allowed, or if a computer is compromised, uh, let's say in a botnet or maybe some sort of behavior that is maybe contacting a server that is known to have or known to be a, a, a malicious server, those kinds of things, we can protect against that in real time using sync um, with our cloud database and making sure that that connectivity is always on, always available and always protected. So you have antivirus, you have content filtering, you have layer seven scanning that blocks applications like BitTorrent, um, you can traffic shape and prioritize those applications as well. So you can say, hey, Pandora, okay, it's good outside of business hours, uh, but inside business hours, it's blocked. You can do all of that within the system. GeoIP enforcement, IP-based blocking uh, based on the country that they may be coming from. Uh, we have uh, the ability to filter that out as well. Sandboxing can, capabilities to, to learn about zero day and be able to say, uh, and to, to give that out to the rest of the world through our ecosystem so that all other devices around the world that use that, that database is now protected. Botnet, malware blocker, intrusion protection, also reputation filters as well. So known uh, malicious attacks coming from certain um, uh, addresses and things like that will also be blocked. And I mentioned this before, um, the integrated wireless controller that's built into the devices and also hotspot management if you want to add guest network access with even tiered billing uh, services and um, ticket printer for kind of a POS uh, hotspot. So if you're running a coffee shop, a restaurant, and still be able to do protect, you know, protection, migrating those kinds of customers over to the new USG Flex is, is easy. Now, of course, if you have not yet managed any of our USGs before or not or don't know about MyZyCell.com, I encourage you to go to MyZyCell.com and create an account um, or, you know, have a security device that's registered in there so you can see uh, what kind of information. This is basically your management for all your licenses um, for all the different devices you manage. Now, remember, at the very top, you'll see a, an icon if you are not yet a reseller uh, or you do not have the reseller view, you can request for reseller view. What this allows for you to do is uh, when you um, create a new account for an end user, let's say an end user or one of your customers wants to have their own MySysel account um, just because of whatever reason, um, you can create that account. When, when you add a device to your customer's account, you can choose your company as kind of the managing VAR. And what that allows for you to do is inside your VAR account in my Zyso with the reseller view, you're able to see the device licenses and management of those licenses in your, in your view. So you don't have to log into the customer's account in order to buy them or to apply licenses. So it allows for you to resell to them and charge them, you know, your, your normal pricing and uh, be able to activate it and everything there. Now, of course, you can always just have those devices directly imported or used or, or, or installed directly into your system. Uh, and you can just still manage it that way, just using kind of naming, uh, naming conventions and things like that within your devices. So that just helps you to manage. But uh, just so you know, uh, if you do want that reseller view at the top of the page, click that button that says request reseller view, uh, contact and reach out to your sales manager or sales rep here at Zyso. And we will um, basically, uh, we have to go through kind of a, a quick verification. Are you really a partner of ours? Uh, and then activate it for you. So that usually just takes you know, just, a, just a couple hours at the most. Um, if you have not received that, again, please contact our sales to, to, to work through that. All right, some more details, application awareness. This is a very important um, uh, solution within that uh, UTM process. It, again, allows for you to block like, things like YouTube, BitTorrent, gaming, even Netflix, um, or even prioritize things like Office 365, Google, WebEx, those kinds of things that might need priority. Or you can throttle or change the times that those are available, like Facebook or um, you know, all, any social media, that kind of thing. So you're able to get full control over that. Um, this is our, our basically our most um, uh, used product here is our URL DNS blocking capabilities. Um, if you have customers who say, hey, I want to block YouTube and Facebook, 
um, this is the solution that you want to have. Uh, it allows for you to check both the um, you know, secured website information and also some other uh, backend information for content and searches and things like that. But this is our, our web, web content filtering or web filtering services, URL and DNS blocking. And again, if it's using a database that will query in the cloud, uh, get that information on what categorization it is, and then block it based on uh, that information you provided. So it can block inappropriate websites and, and websites that could be deemed malicious. And then our malware blocker, um, you know, activates not only the stream-based engine um, with the signatures that are downloaded locally uh, of the latest threats, but also has access to the cloud database as well using the stream, um, the enhanced stream engine there. And of course, there brings peace of mind to the to not only the IT manager to yourself as a partner, knowing that there's UTM protection um, about that. Um, I have a poll here, but I didn't set up the poll, but um, that was kind of a, from a previous one. But I wanted to move to Secu Reporter. So Reporter answers the question that your customer may have. How do I know that um, you know, what I'm paying per month or per year is actually doing anything? Um, and so Secu Reporter is a cloud-based tool that will centralize uh, all kind of the reporting information from Zycel security appliances. So all the UTM, USG, ATP devices can all send information directly to this cloud service, uh, which is included in part of the bundled packages. So when you buy the bundled services of uh, the new USG Flex, it will come with Secu Reporter as well. Uh, but it gives you a picture of what's happening on the network, uh, the devices that are um, uh, reporting, it gives you alerts on if things are, are flagged for alerting. Uh, it gives you uh, analysis over time. So you, you can then create with that information reports. So you can create customized um, monthly reports uh, with your own branding. You can change you know, the logo, things like that. And you can schedule the, the reports to go to your clients or to maybe the managers or maybe to the CEO or the CTO uh, of that company. Uh, and it, it, it will show different threats like you would see at the dashboard, right? It will show you traffic utilization, which websites have been gone to most, uh, what are the top 10 uh, client users, how much bandwidth um, so you can customize these different widgets on how you want them to support information you want. And that's, that's again, a, your kind of monthly report update to the customer or, or paying for UTM services because it'll show, hey, we blocked X number of malware that tried to get into your system this month. Right. There should be a link on Secure Reporter where you're setting it up, or uh, it will take you to the log. OK. 
Okay, it looks like I might have just disconnected. Let me try to share that screen again. Give me just a second. I apologize for, uh, for the technical difficulties. If you can hear me right now and it sounds okay, could you raise your hand, please? All right, thank you. All right, it seemed like it just, all of a sudden, um, WebEx or what, yeah, Zoom just decided to, to reset itself too. Maybe it was running some, some issues there. Okay, so let's go back to my screen share, make sure that's getting um, shared here. All right, are you able to, let me clear this again. Are you able to see, if, raise your hand if you can see my presentation now. We're back at the partner program. All right, great, perfect. Okay, great. So now we basically have um, uh, a tier. If you're able to maintain the silver tier, you'll stay there. You can also move up to the gold tier. Um, again, save silver and gold do have double digit uh, margins um, that's available. But if for whatever reason, uh, you know, you go below the, the 6K, you, you go to the bronze level. Um, but again, we have now discount set that will help you in the bronze to help you to get back to the silver tier uh, as soon as possible. Um, but the gold is where you want to be because you get the, the extra discounts. You have access to a lot of different things, sales engineers, advanced replacement, um, and pretty much uh, based on the firewalls that are there uh, that we are selling with the USG, uh, in order to maintain even just the silver pricing, silver discounts, um, there is you only have to sell maybe like two firewalls a month. And so that's, that's not really out of, the, out of the reach, but that's not just firewalls, it's all of our Zysel products. So you can qualify for all of that within the program. Okay, we are also running a, a current promo um, uh, and we'll be running some promos that you'll see um, message to you very shortly through our distribution, um, DNH, Ingram, Cynix, Wave, and Target. Uh, so keep, uh, keep in mind for those. Uh, Joe asked, when using uh, NCC to manage device, should it show as inactive on my Zycel? Um, I do not think that it should, uh, but you could check Joe with our support to see if that's the correct behavior or not. Uh, it depends on what the uh, what is showing as inactive. It may be that if you were, uh, if the device may be inactive because it's not part of the, you know, the actual system. Um, in my Zysel for the licensing part because it's all then managed on the NCC side, which is, it's a possibility. Um, I had not noticed that kind of behavior, but again, please check with our, our support team. Okay. And that's your turn. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer in line and you want to uh, know more, uh, please use this time to to ask those questions about our, our USG, our migration. Again, like I said, we'll have some documentation that we'll send out to you as well on kind of the exact process of how to get the migration. But really it's just about migrating in, in the MyZyCell side of things and within the GUI interface, it will walk you through the process um, if there is a uh, device uh, that you have that you're replacing so that we can migrate those, those devices over. Okay. Um, so far, there are no questions. And again, if there are no other further questions, you can always email me like usual. My email is try, T-R-I, at zycel.com. So you have questions about the solution, uh, any technical questions and things like that, please, um, please let me know. And you're welcome as always, Joe. Thank you for being here. Uh, hope you have a great rest of your day, rest of your week. Thank you for choosing Zycel as your uh, networking provider. And we look forward to being your networking ally throughout the, uh, the rest of the future. Uh, again, appreciate it. We'll, we'll be back uh, probably, we have some other webinars this week and also in the coming weeks. So please just look at our webinar page and, and sign up for the new ones, or you can wait for the emails uh, that we'll send out to, uh, to have you if you're interested in signing up to the new ones. Uh, again, Look forward to seeing the migration process from USG to the USG Flex so that your customers can take advantage of it. And so, uh, and also from, uh, from your recurring revenue standpoint that uh, uh, you know, we can continue with those services as well. So again, thank you so much. Um, my name is Tri, uh, reach out to me whenever you'd like. Uh, appreciate your time. Thank you so much.